Apple owns a lot of stock in Israel. So, when Kuwait was forming into a nation during the Germanization of their uh, state, Assyria became a enterprise of consequences to nomadic people, which means they became judges and executioners without juries. So if there was no juror, that means a empire can replace them anytime they want. They open up borders on the basis that nobody would secede. So if a border is to be breached, not only do these Persian republics deny voting, they deny the right to be citizens. They denied themselves the obligation to move. So they became settlers. So these settlers are actually the Nazis becoming colonial. So if a colonial embassy is made, not only do they raft between nations, nations must secede which means they no longer expand. So this is how the Empire of Cain formed out of Israel. Israel wanted Kuwait for its natural resources and the fact that it's a religious republic. If they get the re religious republic, they would be built on top of the Nazi Imperium, which would be built for them. Now... There's no reason Jerusalem should be involved here, because Jerusalem would be a Judean army rather than a Mosaic one. So if Jerusalem is to invade, that means they would be a republic bending to the will of the Arabs. So Arabs would be not only a lower class here, they would be also a fighting class. Uh, this allows for Kuwait to gain the advantage. So if Jerusalem is to form into an embassy of holiness, not only does Kuwait deny them the vote, they actually get voting rights to be returned to their people. So this is bad for the dictatorship of the Nazis. So since the Nazis are still in colonies, these colonies become an apparatus of hedging. And hedges are funded on measurements rather than gain. So gain becomes uh, recess recessive, while achievement becomes a democracy. This is fertile breeding ground for new Jews. Because Jews are a dominant class, they allow Christians to be popular here. They allow for the Iranian post to secede from their Judean front, which would be Jerusalem, and allow them to be a Aradam Canaanite army against the Russians. And Russians would be immigrants here, because immigration is how standards are measured on the albinos. So if albinos are Arab, not only do they become darker, they actually become titanic, which means they fissure their skin against the state. So not only is this a flame broiled effect, the effects of Jerusalem no longer affect them. It's a diversity population. And this allows for something called the Orium Society to form. So the Orium Society is split between Jerusalem and the cities of the left-wing and right-wing Arabian Empire. 
So Saudi Arabia would also be included in the southern model, which is to become a Kuwait citizen. So since Saudi Arabia comes from the empire of Cain, not only does the ability to maintain a large population of dominance affect the Nazis that they hold, the Nazis get watered down and they become voters. So if a voter in a Nazi republic becomes a stateless republic, which means they get absolved of their sin, they actually start to return relations back into the Jerusalem and the empire of Iran. So Iran would be a feature of the Communist Party of Russia to be taken advantage of. So while the Saudi Arabians aren't after Jerusalem technically, they do want them for their money. They want them to produce the capital for other people in their society. So this is why mixture of these races is so hard to overcome. Because without a Russian model for undermining capital here, they would have no hope for breeding out of their Arabic society and becoming a Canaanite society. So the Canaanites were an army dependent upon the Germans to just malfunction, which means they don't ascend class, but they recede back into their natural habitat. So after the Orium Republic forms, there is two armies left within the Republican armies which is the Canaanites and the Aradems. So the Aradems are a model of recessives that actually breed out all integration. So an integral can be manifested on a Jerusalem nation, but that doesn't mean they're going to breed with the Arabs. That means they're going to become citizens of their democracy again. And this is why the Nazis are exposed because Nazis shut down their borders temporarily and didn't allow for trade. So this trading is still simmering within their nation and they're developing cost-effective relations to form a market. And markets don't form in communist societies anymore. They have to be completed. So Jews are extremely important in undermining democracy here because they have to become lower class. Because the lower class Jews are actually ableist, they understand that the market is sensitive. And this allows for the flag to be waved at each every metric that they take on the Nazi party. And the Nazi party would still be a victim here because they are still in the regime of flowering. They flower at sensitivity. So at sensitivity, the gain is to become a flag bearer for your party's Republican service. So at a burial, not only must you understate the fact that your father exists, you have to undermine other people's family. This is how a Quaker Republic forms. The Quaker Empire formed from the Orium Republic of Israel, developing into a national embassy for the mixing of races. So mixed races of Saudi Arabia can not only become Nazi again, they have to breed the right kind of Nazis, which would be Jamaicans and Jesuits. So Jesuits have to not only allow for Israel to secede, they have to open up borders for the Canaanites to invade a icon 
which would be a Nazi taking over a colony. 